All right. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. Uh, we've got a little bit longer problem here. It's a uh, another test of uh, your order of operations knowledge. But what we have here is 14 divided by 7, and that's multiplied by um, 3 times, and then within brackets, 3 times 1 third, uh, closed uh, parentheses. Um, and then we have uh, plus 3 times 23 minus 14 in parentheses. So a little bit more complex. We've got some nested. we got parentheses uh, nested inside of brackets. So uh, we, you'd like to work through this problem for a few minutes and uh, pause the video and then come back. Uh, we can run through this one together. All right, I've got um, what we've got here is the, uh, if you recall, the order of operations convention has four steps. Uh, and depending on where you're from, those would be known as parentheses. Uh, you may also know those as brackets. Uh, number two would be to work through any exponents. Um, some refer to those as orders, uh, indices, powers of. Uh, number three would be multiplication and division left to right. Uh, remember that multiplication and division have equal precedence, so you solve them in the order that you encounter them in the problem. And then number four would be your addition and subtraction solved left to right. And once again, addition and subtraction um, have equal precedence. So as you look through this problem, um, we, we would normally just go ahead and start with the innermost parentheses, which is where we have the 3 uh, multiplied by 1 third. Well, this is pretty easy so far. 3 multiplied by 1 third equals 1. So now uh, we're left with a little simpler problem. It's 14 divided by 7, and then that's multiplied. This is implicit multiplication uh, divided by 7 times. 3 times 1. Again, this is implicit multiplication. So whenever you see um, you know, a number next to parentheses like this, uh, this would represent implicit multiplication, uh, which uh, we don't have, you know, we don't have the multiplication symbol here, but it doesn't doesn't really matter. So this is basically 7 times 3, this whole thing. Uh, then we have our plus and then the 3 times 23 minus 14. Uh, in parentheses. Um, so yeah, we we could have also gone ahead and just solved the 23 minus 14 first uh, in those parentheses all the way to the right. Um, the thing to keep in mind is uh, it doesn't matter as long as we preserve the order of operations. You know, you can you can efficiently solve a problem uh, and start in a different area, but you keep in mind that you do need to resolve everything properly, uh, you know, resolving everything inside of the parentheses that you, in the brackets that we have, and then moving on from there. Um, so, yeah, um, here what we've got is, um, uh, if we continue on with this problem, we go ahead and subtract the 23 minus 14. Well, that is 9. We're going to have 3 times 9, again, implicit multiplication. Uh, over here we have 14 divided by 7. Uh, we would do that next. Um, 14 divided by 7 is 2. Um, again, this, all of this, is, it looks complicated, but it's really nothing more than 3 times 1, uh, which is 3, right? So this breaks down to 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is equivalent to this. I hope you can see that uh, by looking at that. Don't Don't be confused by these nested parentheses. Again, that's implicit multiplication. So what we're left with is 2 times 3 plus 27. Well, that's 6 plus 27 equals 33, and that would be our answer. So uh, I hope this uh, a little work through has been helpful uh, in solving this problem, and I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video. Um, and before I do run, though, I wanted to say, I, I forgot to mention, though, that um, um, there's some confusion on calculators, and uh, especially, you know, if you're using a, uh, 
a computer. The scientific calculator that you'll find in Windows 10 or 11, um, it'll also solve for the correct answer of 33, as you see here. Uh, if you ended up with something like 27 and two thirds or you know, 27.66 repeating, um, you did the multiplication outside of the parentheses before resolving uh, 14 divided by seven. Now remember, per the order of operations convention, multiplication and division uh, have equal precedence and they'd be solved left to right uh, in the order that you encounter them. Uh, so yeah, I want to keep that in mind. To get uh, that 27.6 repeating uh, would mean that you are probably trying to use this lesser accepted uh, implicit multiplication or multiplication by uh, juxtaposition convention, which is there's a convention that's been used as sort of a shorthand thing that that some have used, but um, that doesn't agree with PEMDAS and BODMAS. Um, so you got to keep that in mind when you're, when you're thinking of order of operations. So uh, it has shown up sometimes in books and programmed into some older scientific calculators uh, that's actually uh, reference to. But I'm not going to go into that that lesser recognized convention here. But uh, you know, I would just point you out to Google or YouTube and just search for the problem six divided by two uh, times the quantity one plus two, and you'll find quite a, a quite a large number of videos uh, on that problem. It's a uh, a viral problem that has been all over the internet. But uh, again, following uh, following order of operations, um, your answer here would be 33. So again, I hope this video has been helpful. See you all later.